So here we are again with uh, Srimad Bhagavad Gita on the commentaries of Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur and um, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. All glories be to Guru and Guranga. May they bless us with understanding. So I will uh, some, read again the summary of the second chapter. Chapter 2 is called Sankhya Yoga. Yoga through the principle of analysis. When the soul accepts the shelter of a genuine guru, he realizes his ignorance. He then tries to become free from the illusory traps of Maya by giving up his independent thoughts and respecting the instructions of Sri Guru. Since the genuine guru is a seer of the truth and a single point of prema bhakta or a loving devotee, he is free from the four effects of being illusioned, making mistakes, having imperfect senses and cheating. When the sadak or the practitioner hears the instructions from the lotus mouth of his merciful Gurudev, he understands the difference between the soul and the material body. He then realizes the ill effects of sense enjoyment and becomes attracted to hearing the thoughts characteristics and glories of the Stita Pragya Munis, that means the sages fixed in transcendence. Then, by the influence of Sadhu Sangha, an awareness sprouts within the heart of the need to attain Tattva Gyan or Transcendental Realization Knowledge. Chapter 3 Karma Yoga Yoga through the principle of action. When the soul has heard Sri Krishna's instructions, he understands that Karma Yoga consists of endeavors performed without selfish desire for the service of Sri Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. If the heart is full of desires for sense enjoyment, accepting the path of a sannyas, of a, the garb of a sannyasi, of a renunciant is not actual sannyas but hypocrisy and can never bring auspiciousness. The soul should perform his karma activity at the service to Bhagavan because performing karma for sense enjoyment does not produce any auspicious result. Performance of karma such as Vedic yagyas, rituals, sacrifices, can award mundane sense pleasure but such pleasure is temporary and mixed with distress. However, karma yoga purifies the heart. It is therefore auspicious to give up all types of akama, means not doing his duty, vikama, performing sins, and sakam karma, means karma performed with desires for material results, and to adopt only nishkam karma yoga, means activities without attachment to the result for the satisfaction of God or Vishnu. So one more chapter we can do. Chapter 4. Jnana Yoga. Yoga through transcendental knowledge. The fourth chapter begins with instructions on Jnana Yoga. It first explains that one can only get <coughs> genuine Tattva Jnana, <coughs> realized knowledge, by receiving the mercy of Sri Guru who has seen the absolute truth. This mercy manifests through the process of hearing <coughs> from one who is bona fide, is in a bona fide disciplic succession, parampara. One cannot possibly attain Bhagavat Tattva Gyan, means realized knowledge of the Supreme Lord, through mundane learning, intelligence or knowledge. It is also explained in this chapter that Bhagavan's avatar or incarnation appears in every yuga or millennium. The birth and activities of Bhagavan are divine, aprakrita, and it is foolish and offensive to consider them to be mundane, prakrita. Once one attains tattva jnan or realization in the asso association of tattva dasi guru, by gradually hearing from him <coughs> about the unique characteristics of Jnana Yoga and 
its superiority to Kama Yoga, one can easily cross over the ocean of birth and death by taking shelter of real Tattva Gyan, real knowledge, realized knowledge. The practitioner cannot make progress if he doubts this. If he lacks Tattva Gyan or realized knowledge, he will become fallen and deviate from the path, becoming trapped again in the cycle of karma. So the next chapter will be uh, Karma Sankhya. No. Chapter 5 Karma Sanyas Yoga. Yoga is through the renunciation of activities. When the sadhak has attained realized knowledge, he becomes qualified for Karma Sanyas Yoga. At that time, he realizes that real sanyas means to give up attachment to action, karma, and his fruits and its fruits. It is both proper and beneficial for one whose heart is still impure to adopt Karma Yoga without being attached to the process and its fruits. Rather, 